the flower Friday. Oh my God, it's tongue twisted, right? <laughs> yeah, actually every Friday I am just trying to uh, give you a small, teeny, tiny, very easy flower making tutorial as per the requests. Some flowers are very, very easy to make. There is nothing like when you will see the tutorial, you will see it's it's nothing. So, but still, uh, I really wanted to uh, show you how I make my flowers. So, uh, last Friday I posted about these flowers. I posted the picture of these flowers. They are very, very easy, and of course, they made out of our. Uh, retro uh, flower punch die cuts punch cuts i mean so this is the one two inches punch i have used so i am very much prepared here with two petals this flower make out of two petals and our handy dandy water bottle so just spray it uh, don't soak it but uh, just gently a uh, couple of spritz you just Put it on so this is the greenery i have used uh, this punch but if you don't have this punch you just hand cut some of the star shape and just uh, just use it in a if you use green paper it doesn't matter what how, uh, what shape you just cut you just um, use it under the flower it looks awesome because greenery is really really important that little green uh, like picking through each flower it's like a very realistic look uh, it gives so uh, here i have used uh, our basic cardstock which is uh, any local art craft stores you can get it those card stocks like a uh, five or ten bucks sometimes they are always on sale you know just that's it and i uh, got in a cream color so um this petal is soaked first I soak my petals and then um, I, I shape them first uh, before I color them uh, because I need to really uh, break those fibers and after means while I color they get flat again but but in uh, for these petals what we need to do you just need to turn this ball around the petal like that we don't need to with your hand or turn twist like you don't need to do that it's just plain simple delicate wild rose kind of flower so you just need to shape it like that so uh, here i have if you don't have these tools i have these two tools here and believe me they works as equal as these flower like a ball shaped tools so i really like playing with this pencil with the rubber on the bottom and you just need to just dab it like that around the petal edges in a circular motion like that right and then we need that cup shape but before we do that cup shape i i just wanted to color it so this flower is very simple just matter of colors uh, there is not much shaping technique but the coloring technique so get your petal on your team holds or any um, non-stick mat uh, use any two colors one is dark one should be light uh, so the coloring technique so get your dauber color it only on the edges like half petal okay don't color in between we need that a neutral color uh, to give the realistic look this look to this flower so that center should be a plain cream color you can see i colored it like that and again we will just do it quickly on our next petal um actually uh these flowers are very wet uh, like petals but if you can dry it and then color it they look awesome um, that is the light color we did and now the trick is we want we need to color it in between these two petals okay we don't need to color it on the all the way tippy top or all the way middle just take your dark color and color it like that okay so you can just get both petal just fold it and color it otherwise 
just get your dark color and just color it like that it's very easy and very nice looking you can see right here so we will just do it quickly on our second petal so still we our um, we kept our center in a natural cream color like that so again we will shape it so what we we need we just did this thing before like uh, on the circular motion on the uh, petals edges on the top but now we need a cup shape so just get your tool right here on the top and just grab it in between like like that so you will get your cup shape or just circle it in the middle so we need that cup shape so first petal on the top petal you need a more densed cup like that you can use your fingers to give that shape and the bottom petal you can just lightly make this cup shape so we need it saucer like a, this should be a saucer and this should be a cup so uh, your flower look beautiful in these shapes if, you, if they get flat uh, it will look beautiful it's different kind of flowers so while making my flowers I noticed if you even though if you get a similar petals you give them sim give them similar shapes but if you give them a color different way the flower looks really different two flowers looks really different so right now we colored it in between the dark color but if you give that dark color on the tippy toe that flower look totally different so it's a matter of color so just play around with your colors and uh, use the same technique to uh, make your flowers those flowers look amazingly different so now we need i i have this stamens just glue them so use your glue on the bottom plate uh, petal first then grab your top petal and use it alternately so top one petal should come in between the bottom two petals and then this these petals are very wet but I will definitely when it gets dry I will play around and make this cup shape like that so now I need some glue on the top because I need to spread those stamens like so so get your stamens all the way down right like that and now we need that green part greenery of course so use your glue in the bottom halfway to the each petal so that uh, stick properly and looks good and it gives really a good support to each and every petal so this greenery is really a must so you can see even though it helps to uh, make the cup shape get the cup shape to these flowers so here is our beautiful beautiful flower is ready and now I will just grab my floral tape and we will just cover this ugly part like that And this, this I said my flower petals are very very wet but after drying they will get really nice shape so here is our bouquet and then we will add this to we'll add this it this here like that so you can see all my uh, flowers are very closed when they get dry they get um, it's, in proper shape if you play with it so that's what if you have a dryer handy always use the dryer but uh, for this video I am just always making my flowers in wet condition <laughs> yes so that's it so this is our beautiful beautiful bouquet is ready 
right i hope this tutorial uh, will help you and i have another quick tip here for uh, so um i have one flower here which i will give you the tutorial later on one flower here so we are using our eyeshadow right i am using it anyway uh, so when it dry if you put the eyeshadow sometimes like it's like a powdery it's a talc in there so um um the trick is if you wet your flower from the distance just to give give it a from from the distance just spray spray the water and while it's little wet use your eyeshadow so it will stay nicely like that i am trying so you can see the very pretty sheen on your petals right i hope you can see so there you go we are done with a bird so i have this flower here handy and again we need to use the light color first and for the for the bird you can use color all over doesn't matter since it's going to be closed and we need only one petal for that i'll quickly make the hole here and i have already used a bead on a wire you can see right here and now i need this dark color that you can just color in between two petals like this and now we will use the glue all over on this bead like that and then you need to like fold in between three petals on this bead okay and two petals you you can just keep it out like that and then use the glue on the other two petals and gently stick like that you don't need to force it so gently stick it like that that's it this is our bird since these flowers are kind of wild roses so these birds are also loose they are not tight since it's a five petal flower and you can just play around little bit you can make shape with your fingers you don't need to twist and turn and play harsh on that you don't need to do that just gently use your fingers and make a shape and then we will use our greenery so i will just make a shape on the, this petal like i'm just twisting it just to give a natural look that's it otherwise you can easily just grab it and use it doesn't matter but greenery is very very important for these flowers so we will just use the glue here and use it like that isn't it pretty bird very very delicate bird you can feel the difference between rose like a dense rose like hip rose bird is right here and this bird so these are very very easy to make and uh, they look really awesome on projects cards and with our another friday tutorial like this is the officially first friday tutorial but every friday i'll try my best to give a um, a short tutorial thank you so much for watching bye for now